Hello everyone, please enjoy this video. Leave a like below, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Get aesthetic, brah. Hey guys, Executor here. These are my top five essential things when working out. Number one, chalk. So chalk, in my variation, I use the brick form. You can get it in powder, you can do all that kind of stuff. But with the brick, you, know, you, do, you put it on your hand a little bit, you do this, grab the bar, lift it. There's less moisture, a lot more friction. Many power lifters use it, use it for deadlifts, squats, so there's no slipping of the hand and a lot more lifting is involved. Number two, I believe these are called wrist braces. Uh, you have probably seen them on um, bodybuilding.com. They're called Gasp, is a company. And I use them for a lot of my lifts, mostly for pushing, like um, benches, dumbbell, shoulder presses, any of that kind of stuff. But um, not for any pulls, you don't need to have wrist like stabilizers or uh, any type of pull, because it just wouldn't make sense. This kind especially is very durable, so you can, I've been using it for about two years, you could use it for a constant, constant amount of years, you just clean it and all that, make it smell good, and it lasts long. So, I mean, I've been using it for two years, it looks kind of brand new already, I don't see anything damaged with it. So these are the gas, I believe, I could, I'll be linking this, actually, not I could, I'll be linking this, uh, so if you guys want to purchase them or anything on bodybuilding.com, this is where I got mine, so um, really, really good. These are what I use to really deadlift, like my 245 for 8, for 10, all that kind of stuff. What it's mainly for is so you don't use your stabilizing muscles when you're pushing weight. You don't have to worry about like your wrist kind of, if you have small wrist going back and forth, you know, when you're lifting. You can just kind of leave it straight. straight. Yeah, and then you get number three, wrist straps. So what wrist straps are mainly for is deadlifts, any type of pull action you can use it for, you can use it for lats, you can use it for the mid back, any kind of that stuff. So I use it for that, um, mainly for deadlifts. You can also use a belt for deadlifts, which I will be showing later, of course. And um, yeah, so what you do with these, okay, so I'll show you how to put them on. So this is my right hand. So you put it, oh sorry, this one's that. So I, okay, this is my left hand. So you put it through, right? And you put it so this strap goes in between your thumb and your pointing finger, right? So you can put it around the bar and you grab it. So this is the correct form of it. So yeah, what they're used is for deadlifts. You wrap it around, you can deadlift in many different ways. And you can use it for any pull movement. No need to use it for any push movement. Because this is mainly just to any type of holding without dropping kind of thing. How do I explain? Um, yeah, like, you wouldn't need to use this for any type of push movement, I'm telling you that right now. But uh, for any type of pull, any type of back, you could even consider using it for biceps if you really want to, but you, you, in my opinion, you don't really have to use anything for biceps. So to curl the weight, you can be fine. But uh, yeah, it's really good for deadlifts and um, any type of pull movement. Okay guys, this was coming up, this is my number 4, and this is the belt. So what the belt's mainly for is to keep your core uh, stabilized. So you know how like with the wrist, with these things, it keeps my wrist stabilized? This is the same thing with the core, but it's just going around your um, <clears throat> your stomach. So let's say you do squats, right? You go straight, you pull back and straight perfectly down and up. So what it, yeah, it's pretty much stabilizing without wearing your well, using your stabilizing muscles as much, but pretty much for this is going to be the core, right? So for deadlifts use core, for squats use core, any type of any type of compound movement you're going to be using core. Lots of movements in general use your core, you don't have to use your belt for everything, but some people do actually use their belt for everything. There's nothing bad with it, but you also got to remember to still work your core and don't forget about it. But the belt is a great essential need that you will need in the gym to uh, do those heavy lifts so you don't injure yourself because some people tend to put too much weight on and they're not using a belt and then they mess up their back and then when you mess up your back that's it all the troubles are there hey guys this is my last one and this is my number five so this is a roller a foam roller and what it's mainly used for is actually a self massage is an easy way to explain it what you do is you roll on it so if i want to roll my shoulder i'll put it on the ground and i'll literally just like go on my shoulder the whole way through I could do it with any part of my muscle, any parts of my muscle. I could do it with my chest. I could do it with my ass. I could do it with my legs. I could do it with my chest. I could do it with my back. Especially a lot of people do it with their back. It's really good. I don't know. It feels good after when you do it with your back. But what it's used for is deep tissue muscle massage. 
So you could really, really put a lot of pressure on this. You could even force yourself down on it a little bit more. You're gonna get deeper, deeper in the tissue. And yeah, it's really, really good. If let's say you pull the muscle, you could use this and it will allow it to recover faster. But overall, yeah, it's a really, really great source. The foam roll. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Those are my top five essential things you need when working out. Please leave a like below, comment, subscribe, get us there.